Wire snares, they use different materials for poaching, don't they, Silva? Julia Lloyd, um, a chimpanzee primatologist, snares. is a resident of Kamwenge district and lives close to the Chibale National Park boundary. She came to Uganda about two decades ago to conduct research on primates, especially the chimpanzees in Chibale National Park, and fell in love with the flora, fauna, and the people of Chibale. During her long stay at Chibale, Julia realized that the locals living near the edges of the park were suffering from rampant crop raids. She also fell victim. These people suffer from being next to the national park. It's difficult to grow crops. Elephants, bush pigs, baboons come out and crop raid, eat almost everything. So tourism would be perfect for these people, but they don't have the background, the knowledge. They don't often go to school or go far in school or get the chance to um, go to wildlife college. So we're trying to ignite the passion and it's already there. The relationship between wildlife and the people was so and often the locals had to retaliate violently. To reignite the passion of locals towards conservation, Julia formed a local organization in the shadows of chimpanzees. They just need a helping hand. So we're training a core team of local enthusiasts from the area that already are guides in different places and we're training them beyond birds, reptiles, plants, um, amphibians, lots of insects. Apiculture or beekeeping is one of the initiatives being implemented by Julia and local partners. They are very small insects but they are dangerous. When they stink you, they have some very Poisonous, which is very dangerous. The only that, that they run back to the what? The, to the, the park. That's why you are, we are arranging from the, the same lane from distance. The project is symbiotic. Besides stopping crop raids by the elephants, the hives produce high quality honey for sale. It also complements the Ua trench dug to stop elephant raids. The trench you see here is about 70 kilometers. It stretches 70 kilometers all the way down to the other side. Of course, that is just a fraction of the 795 square kilometers of Chivale National Park. It was constructed in order to prevent the elephants from crossing from the park into the community land. But what we've been told is that elephants have become very smart. Sometimes they pour soil in there, then cross over. They push the soil in the, in, inside the trench. Then after that, they get the, the soil becomes the uh, higher than the elephants manage to cross from here. After the elephant has put in the soil, people come and they, they move the soil and put, put it, it back. back yeah. Yeah. Nature lover Julia has set up the Sunbird Hill Research and Monitoring Site at the edge of the park. Over the years, Sunbird Hill has become a heaven for nature enthusiasts. Here is our mammalogy section. That's all about the mammals. Then here you get into entomology, which is the insects, um, arthropods. And then we've got herpetology, a main passion of mine. So you're talking about my favourite book is by this man, Stephen Spools, who's uh, normally based in Kenya. And he's coming to visit us soon and okay. help train our guys. So they're the kind of people we're going to be housing. Dennis Igoa for UBC News at Chibari National Park.